early because i'm going to the woods this weekend I'm gonna be off the screens but look at that great oh i was like okay great something to talk about here however i'm telling you objectively how i'm playing this look at this thing i've got drawn here i'm gonna stick to my plan here this is all part of the plan like oh don't get excited here's the thing if i'm buying down here which i was i'm buying down here i'm sorry i cannot justify buying up here or anywhere above this so i'm waiting right my regression model shows me i get another point i'm gonna wait to buy right at that point um and it may not come right that's the whole thing we have to understand it may not come nothing wrong with leaving cash on the sidelines you know during a bull run why not right like i want to spend that but i'm not justifying spending the rest of my firepower unless i get it when Bitcoin does reach that point, right? So it's going to be a calculated move here. And though that's, that is exciting, there are certain things that are starting to look pretty bullish, look like they're going to maybe move in a big way pretty soon. New Cypher definitely stands out at this point. Ooh, it really seems like a perfect storm for New Cypher right now. The timing and just where it is, the price. Oh man, look at 50 cent New Cypher on your basic retrace. Oh, you guys, it's like almost a 4x right there on a oh this this is the kind of we're right on that edge point where we're going to start to see those retracements come in i'm not saying we're going to see like that full rip all the way up to you know these kinds of levels on something like new cypher you know right off the gate maybe we are going to make our way up there slowly but like you could literally see on a single pump i'm making like a very specific call right now but it's it's pretty reasonable this is how probabilities work like New Cypher is headed for about 175 right now. It is, right? And so people who aren't even looking at the Fibonacci's, they don't even care about that. You know what? Most people are thinking something about two bucks, right? People are like, two bucks, two bucks. It's going to go over two bucks or it's going to get close to two bucks. Yeah, the translation of something getting close to two bucks, in this case, New Cypher, is just 175. Like literally, there's that whole idea. You're going to get close to that round number. And you're not going to make the round number because the big money players, the whales, the ones who are moving the market, they're anticipating they're selling into $2 and look at the confluence of selling into $2 at 175 and on a basic self-fulfilling prophecy. This is the kind of stuff, like literally at the precipice of this, I'm saying this in this video because something like this is going to happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen with New Cypher, um, but also Solana is, oh, look at that, right? Solana is perfectly set up for the same setup. I mean, this is like, my heart is like pounding because I can feel like, whoa, we are right in that moment. And check out this confluence too. Like Bitcoin makes it up here, right? Keeps going. February 11th, Bitcoin makes it up here. And before this massive heartbreaker, in the time, like in the time between now and February freaking 12th, Solana is, is, is exactly set up to to make that 702 like that that almost is another obvious choice like two standout obvious choices momentum swing trades based on fibonacci retracements solana and new cypher are are exactly perfectly set up and so look at new cypher you have almost a 4x you know a little over a 3x here on the same retrace setup that solana is doing and the solana price you know it's like not quite double right from here it's not quite double so this is how you do your math right it's like you do your retracements like oh solana might pump sooner because it's like a more reputable respected you know it's higher in the market cap rank like a lot of people will fomo into it because they think it's like a really safe sort of long-term investment new cypher being risky it's bigger risk but bigger reward like solana's barely a 2x from here new cypher new cypher is over 3x easy on the same setup and i do believe that the word of new cypher is kind of getting out right new cypher has consistently stayed in the top 200 coin market cap rank that says a lot like it it's on its way to being in the top 100 and there you go dude that's the confluence New Cypher skips a solid 100 spots in coin market cap rank, and there you go. Your 4.236 is fulfilled. That's the kind of math we're talking about, um, and that's that's honestly on the conservative side considering how much momentum New Cypher has been getting recently. Um, I, I'm obviously not the only person who's talking about it at this point. I was maybe one of the only people talking about it when it was at freaking 16 cents, but you know, here we are. Um, 
TRB is like all the same kind of reasons, you know. I don't know if TRB has any momentum yet. I think TRB is still just like a dirt. It's just like going to hang around the dirt for a little while versus like New Cypher, Solana, that they have momentum. But look, higher risk, higher reward. It's the same setup. 20 freaking dollars TRB moving up around like there you go. Look at that math, right? So there you go. So TRB highest risk, highest reward. New Cypher in the middle, lower risk, but still very high reward, lower reward than TRB. And Solana is almost like, this is going to happen pretty soon. Like Solana is going to probably like, yeah, look at Solana could easily just, just make headlines. It literally could just make some headlines. Just like, boom, dude, just like some like, you know, like there, like, how about that? Right. Literally. Cause look at this date, March 13th right? Like what's Bitcoin? Where does my regression model of Bitcoin sit around March 13th? Easy, right? Right. So there you go. There's just some confluence things to think about. I mean, it's exciting time. I guess, you know, look at the DXY got smoked. That's a really good sign for crypto. That's a really good sign. But remember, there's going to be volatility in here. It's not just going to go straight down. If it were going to go straight down, then Bitcoin would go straight up. But it's more likely something like that happens on the DXY or something, you know? or whatever. Just obviously there's going to be a moment where the DXY is going to retrace. You know, the US dollar index is going to retrace. People are going to FOMO into that. How are they going to FOMO into that? They're selling their cryptos. How does that align? That aligns perfect, right? People selling Bitcoins, they're putting them into cash. They're pumping the DXY and there's your volatility, right? There's always going to be volatility, but remember there's gravity in these Fibonacci self-fulfilling prophecies. And if you can stomach the volatility and you just keep your eye on the prize, and you can sort of identify confluent patterns throughout the market, then uh, you're going to be good. And so, yep, we're in an exciting time. Bitcoin is freaking pumping. That's exciting. I hope these things play out sooner than later. Like, I'm, I'm looking for that buying opportunity back down to 33. I may not get it. And if I don't get it, no, no shame in that. But I'm exercising discipline because I bought here. I'm not going to buy anymore until I get a chance to buy lower than that. And uh, it's exciting times, that confluence. Look at this. I love this regression model for now. I'm going to stick with it. Like that gives me, those are fast, fast times, fast times, kid. If this regression model puts us anywhere reasonable. So anyway, dude. <laughs> Damn. This is the time when your life could take on a different level of propulsion. If you have prepared yourself well, either with education, or some skill or yoga on any of these things. That is the time when it can propel. Flying away from complacency Responding to the call